Welcome to the Dressage Institute. We love to be collaborative with other coaches and other learning platforms. So we are often asked by other YouTubers and other platforms to really create some great content for their clients. This is one of those videos and we did this for Natasha Eltol that you're writing success. So I hope you enjoy this. We had so much fun making this. You can see I'm just had to do a 360 because of the sun. But Susan Soderman, you've asked a really good question. So pop it again up on the screen again so you can see. Susan, you've spoken a little bit about rhythm, but then when you've elaborated in it, there hasn't been much about rhythm. It's been more about being on the bit and connecting. So I'm going to skip the rhythm bit because I don't quite see where the rhythm fits, but I'm going to talk to you about the connection, the popping of the head up, okay? So ultimately, if your horse pops his head up randomly and you can't tell when and why, that's an indication to you that actually he's not connected. Actually, he's not on the bit, okay? So he might appear on the bit, but he's not. Because if he was, you wouldn't get that sudden flick, okay? So what we need to do, so what that means then, and a way to test that, sorry, we should just talk about that. A way to test that, you just randomly put your reins long. And he should follow that contact so there's never a loop in your rein. And if there is a loop in your rein, you instantly know, yup, he's not connected enough. And I would suspect that that would be the case, but that's your test to be able to check, okay? So then we know that we need to get more suppleness so that he can connect, okay? Now rhythm at this level, he either has or he hasn't. So. But I assume from your message, I think he does have rhythm probably. And maybe it's just a bit of a miscommunication as to why it's in there. So we'll clarify that in a little bit, but we're going to assume he does have rhythm. Okay. So what we want to do is get more suppleness. So he takes the connection. Very simple. At that level where he's not really on the bit yet, circles are really the suppling exercise. And that's why we don't want to go circle after circle after circle after circle because ultimately then you're just constantly riding circles. You're just constantly riding a suppling exercise the entire ride and they get tired. So what we need to do is have straight lines involved. So from my idea, excuse the plane going over the top guys. So from my idea, I would say to you, ride a straight line. So if you've got a 60 meter arena, ride a straight line every corner and every E and B, ride a 15 to 20 meter circle. Why 15 or 20 meters? The 20 meter circle would be if he can't do a 15 meter circle and the 15 meter circle would be ideal because it creates more suppleness, okay? So you go, in, one, in each corner, you ride a 15 to 20 meter circle, okay? Making sure that you have really the train tracks all the time, that you have both reins feeling exactly the same and that you concentrate that you feel like his hind legs or his hind loins are in line with his shoulders and his front legs. So even when you go around the circle, that if you looked down and looked at those legs, that they would all be exactly the same, okay? That's really important. And when you turn that circle, that is a suppling exercise for him, which should allow him to become more supple through the ribcage, which should give you more connection. Then as you finish that circle and you reach the wall, go a few levels forward in the trot. And when you do that, really think what you're trying to achieve, which is you're trying to get the energy that you've created with the suppleness into the bridle. So you really think, I've turned the circle, I hit the wall, now go forward into my bridle, into the even reins, hind loins into the shoulders until you get to E or B. And then you do the same exercise again. Excuse me, all these planes going over, guys, I don't know what's going on today. Then you do the circle again, yeah? Then you go forward again. Then at, the court, then at E or B, you do the same exercise. And when you're turning that circle, make sure that you've got even contact on both reins, that the hind legs are matching the front legs. Turn the circle. When you reach the wall again, go forward, thinking I want to keep these train tracks and allow the hind leg underneath him. If you continue that exercise, that should increase his suppleness, which should increase his contact, which should make him more honestly on the bit and then you shouldn't have that head up issue, 
hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed watching this content just as much as I enjoyed making it. This sport is my passion and I love the sport, I love the horses and I love the people in it. This sport should be a collaborative environment where we can all help each other succeed. So please, if you enjoyed this content, click like and subscribe. But also, if you want me to help your students as well, please let me know of a video. I'm more than happy to make some content for you as well. I can't wait to see you soon, guys. Bye!